Okay, so Sue, it's October 8th at about 5 o'clock and we're here at the University of Washington looking over to the Eastern Cascades there and we've got many friends from the East Coast here and uh, people from here in Seattle as well and um, we wanted to ask you some questions. And while there's many questions to ask you, um, like where were you born and what was it like, what we'd like to do with this set of questions is to have you think about your uh, journey with cancer as a kind of um, uh, labyrinth, if you will. And I wonder if you could take us on a labyrinth walk uh, through your treatment and how you've thought about that, how you uh, first discovered your cancer, and take us through your thinking about it because there's so much wisdom in what you have to say about this that we wanted to make sure that we got it on camera. And so, if you would take us on a journey through your healing process here, and begin with your first awareness of your cancer. Well, um, I'm a massage therapist and one month a client had asked me to do a breast exam for her, I'd show her how to do one. So I was practicing on myself just to remember how it's done. And, uh, you know, so I know I didn't have a tumor at that time. And about just a month later, I was meditating. And I was all finished after a while and sitting there just quietly, kind of blissed out. And it was truly as if some unseen hand just picked my hand up and placed it right on my breast right on a spot where I felt this large, walnut-sized lump. Mm -hmm. And I immediately was quite startled, you might imagine. But it's amazing how much can go through the mind, huge amounts of information in such a brief time. Because the minute it happened, I knew with all my being that this was not not going to be the ordinary cancer journey. I knew I was not going to do the traditional things and I wanted to find a, a different relationship with cancer and a different imagination of cancer because cancer has become epidemic. So I actually did absolutely nothing for three days. I didn't do a thing. And I love that I didn't do anything because the other thing we do in this culture is we absolutely freak out about stuff like that and we immediately go into fear and we feel like we must, you know, rush out, get doctor's opinions, start doing tests, we go th we, and we go into it in panic from the beginning. Instead of doing that, I decided to just sit quietly with it within me until I was ready to, I sort of gestated it, until I was ready to bring it out into the world. And that was about three days. I didn't tell anybody. I just let it wash over me like waves and let it integrate into me. And I never felt afraid, I must say. I mean, I didn't feel in denial. It was clear to me. I'm a massage therapist. I have great palpation skills. I know what the symptoms of a tumor as opposed to a cyst are. And I knew at the very least that this was a tumor and not a cyst. And so, after three days, just the opposite thing happened. And I like whooshed into action. I started gathering huge amounts of information from every arena. I went to a regular medical doctor, got some regular lab work. Um, she recommended that I get a mammogram and an ultrasound. I was willing to do that. And, um, but I also went and talked to my nutritional therapist and other practitioners that had a whole different point of view. So it looked like, uh, it was very interesting to me, I went and got the ultrasound. And it's unusual that the radiologist will come in the room and actually tell you the results. 
she walked in the room on the behest of the woman who had done the, the scan, and she, the radiologist said to me, I think it's very likely that this is cancer. And I think you should immediately go across the hall where there's a surgeon, get a biopsy scheduled, and don't even wait, just schedule surgery. And I thought, what a thoughtless approach. And also, I know that the statistic is actually that most tumors are benign. So I asked her why she said that, and she said, because most tumors are malignant. So I walked out and never turned back, basically.